Good morning. Thanks for joining in today. Today I'm making one of my mum's very favorite dish she used to make in parties, usually as starters, or you can also use it as a main course. She used to call them steaks, but I call them kebabs on skewers or trio on skewers. The reason I call them trio on skewers is because they have three main ingredients. Meat, which can be beef, lamb, mutton or chicken. I'm using beef today. The second ingredient is potatoes and the third is onions. Tastes absolutely delicious. So first thing we have to do is cook our meat. So I have chosen beef which I have cut very thinly into thin slices. The time taken for tenderization depends on the meat you are using. Obviously, if you're using chicken or lamb, the tenderization time will be much less as compared to beef. So first thing, on very low heat, we are going to cook our beef and tenderize it. So simple, I am putting hot water in my beef, just enough to cover the meat. Salt, chili powder, garam masala, freshly grated ginger and garlic. Give it a little bit of stir so the spices go into the water. Make sure the meat is covered with the water. Cover it with a lid and let it cook on very low heat until the meat is tender. And I'll see you then. So there we are, our meat is ready. It took about three hours to cook in my slow cooker and it's nice and tender. Now I'm going to cut this meat into smaller pieces. You don't have to be very precise. My mother was never very precise about her cooking. So just inch by inch pieces. So we're going to cut this into smaller pieces. I also have cut some potatoes. I put them in water so they don't get discolored. You can see there's, I, took small potatoes and I've cut them into circular chips. Not too thick, not very thin either, but a manageable size. I've taken about four small potatoes. I can take more if I need to. I've also chopped up some onions and the onions you can see are, so I've chopped up one onion into eight pieces. So I cut it into two halves and each half I cut into four and I took all the leaves out of the onions so they are much easier to go on my skewers. Now the skewers I'm going to use are a little wood cocktail sticks. So you can use any little stick that you might have. I'm also going to make some breadcrumbs and I also have some beaten up egg over here. So let's uh, cut our meat into small pieces. So I've cut the meat into smaller pieces. You can see it's about inch by inch. You don't have to be very, very precise. Now let's make some skewers. So my onions, potatoes and meat. So this is how I make it. You can make it in any way you want. Whatever goes first, entirely up to you. In the corner, I put an onion followed by a potato followed by a piece of meat, followed by another piece of onion, potato, meat, potato and onion in the end again, just to seal it. And there it is. So I'm going to make as many as I can. So I've made a few. Now we are going to dip this into our egg and coat it with breadcrumbs. So egg and our breadcrumbs. Generous coating of the egg. And generous coating of the breadcrumbs. So I've coated all of them with uh, egg and breadcrumbs. They're ready to go and they're ready to be fried. Now they need to be fried in cooking oil. You can use a frying pan. I'm using an air fryer today, a bit healthier. I've never used an air fryer for breadcrumbs before. Now you need to make sure the breadcrumbs by the time they're fried are nice, dry, crispy and gold. So I'm going to put six at a time in there. 
As I've never done these in an air fryer before, I will let you know in my text that what temperature and how long it took to do. Apparently it's healthier than normal frying. So we're going to spray these with cooking oil. Okay, they're ready to go into the air fryer. Okay, let's put them in our air fryer. on okay let's put the program on air fry and let's put the temperature I think I'll put it at 180 time at 20 minutes to start we check it okay start So it's on now, it's going to preheat for a few minutes then start heating. I will check it at about 10 minutes to see uh, what the color of the breadcrumbs look like. I might even have to turn them around midway so they fry equally on each side and I will let you know the total amount of time it took to fry the breadcrumbs and hopefully the onions and the potatoes will be cooked completely at the same time. So just come out of the air fryer. The breadcrumbs are nice and crispy, well done. I think it's much nicer in an air fryer than in a deep uh, fat fryer because it's a bit soggy in the deep fat fryer, especially the breadcrumb, but they're, they're nice here. So if you're using a frying pan, don't put too much oil in it. And let's try the potatoes are cooked. Yeah, it's nice, potatoes are cooked. Onions are well cooked as well and the breadcrumbs are nice and crispy and well done. So do try this dish, I hope you like it. Dip it in tomato ketchup and it will taste much much nicer. And it's a lovely uh, dish to as a starter or part of the main course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon until next time. Take care.